Getting paid to shop, it sounds too good to be true, and in some cases it is. People claiming to be a legitimate business in order to take your hard-earned cash. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia shows you what to look out for. Millions of letters pass through the Postal Service every day, and among them, a certain number of shady schemes. When one of those letters found its way to Wilson, North Carolina, Larry Cauley first thought that he had a windfall. I had a, a letter in the mail that uh, they were asking me to be a mystery shopper for Walmart. And in the letter was a check made out to me for $1,950.49. The instructions were very specific. Alert the letter's author by text that he'd received it. Also, deposit the check and withdraw immediately $1,700 and go shopping. They wanted me to buy $900 worth of iTunes cards at one Walmart and then go to a second Walmart and buy 800 more. The letter warned that Larry should only buy iTunes gift cards, and something about it raised a red flag with him. And I called the Better Business Bureau, and they said, yes, it was a scam. They would have had access to my banking information and probably would have drained my bank, bank account. They probably would have taken everything in there. These are terrible crimes. The problem is almost always these criminals live in other countries. And so we don't have the reach of the law to get to get them. What makes it worse is there are legitimate mystery shopping companies out there. The Mystery Shoppers Professional Association says there are a million and a half real mystery shoppers. When I checked with the Federal Trade Commission, that agency said the Mystery Shopping Professional Association is legit and it even even has a database of mystery shopping assignments. I've included that in today's web story. So before you reply to that email or the letter which comes to your house, be skeptical and do your research. And remember, a legitimate mystery shopper company will never require you to cash a check or deposit money before asking you to complete a shopping assignment. I'm CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.